What's up, people? Welcome back, and how are you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Hopefully you had a good holiday. Hopefully you got to spend some time with family. I know that I enjoyed this little break, this little holiday season, but today I'm really excited to share with you a new behind the scenes edit for a commercial that I just worked on. It's for a company called True Classic Tees. It was directed, produced, and starred by Greg and Nate. You'll see them a bunch in this video. So this behind the scenes, I put a lot more effort into. I made sure that the person shooting behind the scenes was able to capture a lot more conversations between me and the crew, me and Greg and Nate, just so it made it more educational and not so much just like you're staring at us doing things. I wanted to make it a bit more immersive. So you're really able to hear the conversations and the decisions that are being made on set. So hopefully you find that to be valuable and you enjoy it. Um, I wanna give a quick shout out to Dan Abel for shooting the behind the scenes. He did a stellar job, shot everything on the Ursa 12, Okay, and rocked an easy rig all day. So yeah, I give this guy major props. Definitely check out his Instagram below, but thank you for shooting. I don't want to take too much of your guys' time anymore, so enjoy. So which room again are we able to store gear? Any of the ones that are open Lovely. right here. Sounds, yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. Um, so hi, would it be easier for you if we separate G&E and camera? Yeah, that'd be easy. All right, so can we do G&E in this room since it's closer, yeah. camera in that room? Thank you. Um, Carl was like, let's step this thing up. And I'm like, I agree, talk to the boys. If the boys are down, they'll really step this up. This is about to be really good. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. team is I'm very excited. talented, man. It's awesome. Okay. How are you? Good, well, how are you? Okay. Greg's uh, overdrive what I did. Everything came up, no problem? No problem. Oh, that's awesome. Let's start with a, let's start with a 16. Yeah, we're going wide, baby. All right. Good morning. We are back with another BTS day. We are doing another commercial. Today's going to be a fun one. It's going to be funny. We're doing a commercial for a company called True Classic Tees. Today we have an awesome crew with us and uh, yeah, another raw behind the scenes. Dan is going to be doing the behind the scenes shooting, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy it today. Let's get to it. I think, if anything, maybe we have something to bring up the ambient a little bit, just to, just so we could balance it out a little bit more, so these aren't like insanely hot. We could tone it down. So yeah, wrap, a little hair light, some neg. Uh, just try to get a good level and then can we have maybe something on standby like a little tube or something in case We need a little eye light or like a the bounce board or something just uh, I want to make sure we have eye lights and everything as best as possible um, and then I, could, I think this is gonna be easy to set up I think we should also simultaneously start lighting for the other stuff as well one wide That's the intro shot pushing into him We do over the shoulder over the shoulder and then just like clean singles yeah. And then we have one through the doorway here. We have that. Everything key-wise is going to be coming from this side of the room. Okay. Um, my idea is to have like one big soft source pushing. Yeah, I was thinking about giant book light. Sounds great. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's a good start for us right now. Okay. You feel good? Yeah. 
All right. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Hi, my name is Hai, and I'm the gaffer for today. We'll manage to come to the temperature there. Cool. They're both but it's fun. a nice wrap. Do you mind taking your glasses off for okay. a second? And it's a good wrap. James, turn it off real quick. And so you, see, you see some highlight. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turn it on. Charging. Nice. Yeah, and I'll bring a tube in yeah. in case we mm -hmm. need it. Cool. Can you give a picture? Uh, turn it off for a moment. Hey, my name is James, and I'm gripped today. Can I get uh, your name and role for today? Uh, I'm Karsten, and I do whatever Carlo tells me to do. I don't think I have like, an assigned role. <laughs> We're starting with the water cooler. Yeah. Figured we'd start with this one first, and then move into this one. Yeah. Okay. And we're doing everything exterior yeah. of the glass first. Yeah, first. everything out yeah, here yeah, first, yeah. yeah. And then we could move into the glass yeah. if we want to because then everything's kind Just of already lighting. set up for you lighting-wise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then we move into Nate's shots. Nate's shots. Okay, sounds good. Um, when you guys have a moment, introduce yourselves. Oh, this awesome. is Dan, by the way. What's going on, Dan? I'm Greg. I'm the producer, director, slash writer, actor on this. Been working with Carlo for a long time. He knows that we're, we can be a little sloppy sometimes, and he helps us bring it in and own it. And so, it's, so it becomes all clean, nice, and shiny. So we're really grateful for him and, you, and the crew and everyone. But uh, yeah, did I say I'm, I'm Greg, I'm directing this thing, I'm, I'm putting myself in this thing, and uh, we're going to see how it comes together. So uh, that's the best I got. Sweet. That's the best I got. Hi, my name's Nate Twer, and uh, I co-wrote and directed what we're doing today. And I'm also starring as the boss as you can see, so I'm having a great time. Carlo and everybody here are the shit. They're really making this amazing, so making my dreams come true. Johnson, oh, fuck. <laughs> I think that the way you like saying this quick is gonna be important. Like, well, the thing is, I'm Johnson, the thing is, doesn't it kind of need to be timed with the push-in? Yeah, yeah. Like, so, does but, it need to start Johnson? Because you, you're gonna do a somewhat aggressive push-in. You know? So like, Johnson, you're you fired. Even that's too I think slow. that's a little too slow. Try to give a little faster. So we can we could also like audition like as I push in. Yeah, yeah. You do it. Yeah, go for it. Johnson, you're fired. See that? It's just like we're taking a half a step. I'm already in it. Now. Yeah. There's no time to yeah. not get it. Yeah. So it's just about clarity, right? So I love that. Shots today. Pretty standard. Well, you say that, but you said the first one is 16. So. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him. Don't tell him that. I'm Tyler, um, first AC. I'm Anna, and I'm the second AC. Oh, yeah, you gotta re up. When you turn the lot off that they have put in there, it's still like just. Let's stack these two, see what they look like. Eighth black satin and eighth glimmer glass. So we're doing today. Are we like ahead? Way ahead. So how, how soon to start shooting? So our goal is to be uh, rehearsing by 9.15. It's 7.45. So we're good. We want to be ahead of schedule. My plan is to kind of stick with that schedule, finish lighting here so we're ready to go. So you guys can get in and start working. And we're also going to simultaneously start lighting for in here. So we're ahead of schedule for the rest of the day. Okay. Does so that make sense? You're still planning on starting okay. shooting out there. At yeah, same yeah. Time, same time. And just getting everything. Getting else. everything else set. Mark. Yeah. Mark. Gotcha. I I've only done it a couple times. Yeah. Hi, I'm Liz Ryden, and I am the set designer today. Hi, my name's Lainey. I am the production coordinator, aka the food girl. How's it going, guys? Juan here. I am the sound mixer for this project today. We're gonna have a good time. And on previous projects, I try my best to hold my laughing while holding the boom, so hopefully I can make that happen today. Peace. All right, so first scene, we're in the hallway. There's a water cooler here. It's kind of like that office grabbing water thing. Everyone huddles around a water jug and talks. That's that kind of scene. So what we're doing, we have this two by three flag here to block the overhead, so it gives us maximum control. We are wrapping that with a Nova, and we're gonna put a four by silk in front of it to soften it. That's gonna be kind of the main key source. And if you come over here, in the frame, you see these overheads in the frame, so these practicals will be shown. So we have a falcon eyes up here. We're gonna match the color temperature and use that as a bit of a hair light to emphasize these overheads. 
And then we're just going to wrap it over here with some neg, uh, create a little contrast. Um, yeah, it's going to look great. That's the first scene. I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you to Hollyland for being generous and supporting a lot of the recent projects that I've been on. They generously supplied me with the new 4K transmitter and receiver system, as well as the new Hollyland Mars M1 monitor. Seriously, I was like pleasantly surprised with how well the video feed was working, considering that we were in this like industrial office space where there could be a lot of interference, a lot of metal. Not one single time did we run into any video feed issues. We didn't have to repair it, reconnect it, nothing. It worked perfectly the entire time. And that is a huge plus for me. And that's just something that I don't want to have to worry about on set. And I didn't have to. So I'm really, really, just really pleasantly surprised with how well it worked in that condition. I'm also a big fan of the new design, keeping it low profile and sleek. I had my AC pulling focus on the Mars M1 with the built-in transmitter receiver. After talking with him, he really enjoyed using it and found all the settings to be extremely easy to find. The picture looked really good and matched well with the small HD monitors that we were running. Overall, I'm extremely happy with these new products that Hollyland has developed and started to put out to the world. I really wanna encourage you all, if you're looking to invest in a wireless system, definitely check out the new Hollyland 4K transmitter receiver wireless system. Don't be fooled by the price. I know it is more affordable than a lot of the other systems, but the quality, the build, everything is up to par with all of the rest. So I definitely recommend this being a good option for you all to look into. So thank you Hollyland for supplying this amazing gear. And now, back to the video. So I am setting up time code right now with my favorite time code boxes, the tentacles. And I want the day to be a little easy and I want to be clean. So I'm going with the wireless boom. Got the A10. I love this Rycote baseball. It just helps with plosives. Um, and then I have the Orca quick release. I need to take the mic on and off really quick. And I have a ultralight boom pole just to make my life a little easier. Lens right here. This is, I mean, I do kind of bust out. Is that where you see yourself standing? Yeah. All right, I'm going to try it real quick. It's a little tight. What do you guys My problem, it's, it's not. It yeah. looks good. Like, the whole point of the shirt is to be tight around the chest. That's yeah, true. arms. That's true. And okay, it's the, just a little short. The good thing is that, like, you're supposed to be just, like, cool. Like, I'm imagining the cut to you, the first cut yeah. to you. Yeah. And you're, like, this cool guy. It, like, almost fits the character. I, yeah. It'll loosen up a little bit. Like, you look it. like a stud. Uh, so, right now... We are setting up a Pavo tube by Nanlite so that um, we can actually introduce a little bit of fill on the wall. Uh, we put up a neg, but um, it's kind of a little too dark. So right now we're just gonna balance out the image by just adding some more light in there. Still. Points, points. We're gonna hit the wall more. It's yeah. mostly just sitting there. Mm -hmm. there. Can we get it maybe like armed out a little bit so it's coming more like a. I think, I wanna see what that looks like. Like, let me stand in, stand, let me stand in here. T take a look at the monitor. Actually, when you stand in, it's not. It's not horrible because there's a lot of focus on me, yeah. which is nice, so it's not too distracting back no, there. Yeah, so you, you th you're happy with the level back there? Yeah. I still think a little warmer. Oh, I ate too much. This is, this is more about feeling you being, uh, like, you know, feeling that there's a couple coworkers together, right? This isn't like, so we're not gonna get a you know, like, well, <laughs> Cool with that? Yeah. You're okay with that? All right. I think, like, I don't want to know if, I don't know if I want to see that person's face, really. At this, at this. Yeah, I f it feels weird just seeing, like, this. I'm very cool with it. You, you guys really both like this low. Well, we're keep in mind we are we're going other side. But what do you want more? You want more? I don't know. I don't know. Would you like me to come a little bit higher? I actually let's let's. I feel like, I feel like it's very pronounced. The the angle, the low angle is very pronounced. 
It's a little pronounced, but it's also helping him get more. Isn't this the, sure. so this is also the scene where he's the cool guy. This is the powerful shot of yeah, him. So we'll, and yeah, and we so also are probably going mirror first in the edit, right? So yeah. it'll be able to see the whole thing. Yeah. So It is a little pronounced. Can okay, you, come you up a little bit? Yeah, for sure. A little more subtle. It still yeah. has the effect. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. This feels better for you? I think so. It's, it's the same vibe. It's like your room tone would be fine. Yeah, I think this is more of a happy middle ground. Yeah, yeah, I like Between it. the I two. I still think I'm getting the effect that, yeah. you, that you guys are going for. Cool. This is about the product of people, the peoples. It's not about the humor of seeing me sitting over here, standing over here. It's yeah, more yeah. about how does that shirt look on him? So, like, it's, we want them to be thinking, wow, look, look, it fits him nice there. That's a good looking shirt. So I think that this is right. Do it, do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me get let me get a little pump in. <laughs> oh, I forgot they all can see the monitor. My bright eyes don't tell me. What a joke! What a clown! I feel like High is a little too prominent of a character. I like that. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Taking it too far. No, I'm trying to get the light off of him and more on high specifically. Yeah. You know why we're doing it, right? Okay. Less light on him, more on high. We'll boom it a little bit so it kind of surpasses Greg a little bit. Yeah. Because I want to minimize the amount of light coming from that side on his face. Wait, we're, we're selling shirts here, okay? We want that. We want, we want that. Do you want me to move a second and then I cut you off? All right, so update on the lighting. And we took away the neg, it was too dark. So what we did was just add two tubes here to continue wrapping the light. One on the back wall, here to give kind of just like a top light coming down on the wall, a nice thing on the clock. We also have another tube highlighting one of the extras because he was falling off too much in the shadow and the balance wasn't right. So we added the two Nanlite Pavo tubes here. We have a Nanlite mix panel in the back just giving some more room ambience and then Deeper in the back, we have another Pavo tube just kind of giving a little lift to the deeper part of the room. Uh, but those are the updates for this shot. Scene one, take one, Mark. Action. <laughs> and then I told him, look, you're not Jimson. I'm Jimson. <laughs> I mean, am I right? Sometimes. It just takes a certain type of guy to figure it all out, but you know what? I'm Jensen and I'm that type of guy. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? I <laughs> Between the two of them, you know what I mean? Me on the boat kind of classic. Yeah, right, right, right. All right, I'll go for it again. You know what I'm saying? It's all about this. Yeah. All about this. Gosh, you going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, boss? See, that's when I said, you're going to come back because I hope you do. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we might not use the lines. So do, right. so do same thing now. Yeah. Just same, because that it looked amazing. So do same yeah. thing just without, uh, without the lines. I keep yeah. coming up with these dumbass stories. Well, they're, yeah. I, it actually is hilarious. It's hilarious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Even right there. Even if, yeah, 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 yeah. Even if I was uh, like, if that was the only shot. But, but, yeah, that's great. Dude, and there's better ones than that where you're where you're more animated. Scene two, take one. Maybe your gesture. You can tell me a story, basically, because it's like it's maybe like I'm listening to you now. Okay, like, Greg, you can be a little more animated. Like, right? like bend your yeah, arms yeah, okay. or your yeah. muscle. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, that makes sense. Right. <laughs> yeah. We get rid of the body. Well. Have you thought about this before? <laughs> then I wouldn't be Gibson. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Gibson don't sweat. Okay? Mm -mm. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. It's like okay. animation from before okay. just in case. Are you rolling? Yep. Oh. I know. And then no. you stop. No. Okay. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If the, where the mirror met the wall. He wants the water cooler to basically be centered. Me? Mm. No, I'm not saying. Yeah, I think that actually even that angle is helping weirdly. Yeah. I'm saying if where the mirror met the wall. Yeah, I wanted to be able to distinguish it without audio. Which I think it does now. James, in the reflection of this, could we just turn off or um, move the Pavo tube? And I'll, I'll tell you which way. I still, I still see the, the stand. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, I do see that whole area yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just gap tape, or get a black one, and then yeah. one Yeah, I'll bring up. Mm -hmm. See that? This whole area. Uh, Liz. Yeah. So what I'm seeing is kind of just like this White space. here. Yeah. The floppy? Yeah. Right here. Right here? Yeah, or I mean right here, somewhere around this area. Okay. Yeah. I see a tiny bit, so let's just open it. Yeah. Yeah, that works. I don't mind like a tiny bit of reflection. I just want to make the things in the reflection not super noticeable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't want you guys to be too wide in the frame or too small. Because I, I think whoever said it before, I think is right. Once you hear it, yeah. I think the sound will also That's emphasize true. it. So that is better. It doesn't look like a rag anymore. No, I like. like I don't mind leaving it like that. Yeah, yeah I think the reflections are good. Yeah. As long as they're like purpose of purposeful reflections yeah. and not yeah. just like mistakes. Not distracting. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, can we just you see want more? Do you want? Can we just, yes, you want more depth? Well, I just want to see what it look, if we just moved it back as far as it can go to the desk. I just yeah, think that I think this is. Oh, you I think this is a little too wide, personally. I, I think where yeah. we were well, felt it, it right. Didn't give me any more. Like I was maybe. Stuck. It's not drastic maybe enough maybe you for get, you. Well, that you could get some of like the inside of the room or the wall in there, and it doesn't yeah. do it. Now it's just the same glass and farther. I so think if like, it was a big right. open layout. Yeah. then it would make sense, yeah. but that's not what we have, right. wall. You know? yeah. Yeah. I think the reflections is that purpose, okay. is giving you that feeling yeah. that we're in yeah. this room, they're in that room. Him, you're seeing the glass behind him in that shot yes. before that happens, too. OK, yeah. so let's yeah. go back Cause, to Because, yeah, because yeah, that's not any. It's not too much of a difference. Yeah, yeah. You might be able to move it closer to us, but near the wall, if that helps you at all. I don't know if that does or hurts you. Yeah, it looks good. Do you have it, do you have it on the app? Like Can we just dim it down a tiny bit, please? Thank you. All right. Um, I think Greg, you can go in your. You guys can go in your position, and then we'll see what it looks like with you guys in. I mean, I love, like seeing him there. It's like I get that feeling of yeah. distance. There is a. I, there's a disconnect feeling. Like you're not in the same in room. In a good way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Especially when like it goes behind the line mm -hmm. and a little bit of reflection. Yeah. So we at least get some plant. Like, yeah, in there. something. I just didn't know if there's going to be walking, or are they going to mm. literally be stationary? Them, I think they're going to be stationary. I'm not sure if people are going to be walking here. Let's just try it because I think that would look. And then there's continuity mm -hmm. with the shot over the shoulder. That sounds great. Yeah, that's not actually how. Turn a little bit. Hi. Oh my gosh. What do you think about the right side? I don't mind it. I think it's kind of like a, it's a nice contrast, honestly. I don't, I don't mind it. Scene three, take one, Mark. You good? Like, yeah, yeah. All right. Are we committing? We're moving on to yeah. Nate. Yep. All right, Nate, you're up. All right. What's what's All the process? Right, All right. Hi. You're officially done being the next show. Yeah. So we're gonna shoot in there. Uh, we're doing this, uh, like kind of frontal with the boss. Uh, we're gonna do a book light, and then we're gonna do the hair light. Same thing what we did over here. But also we're gonna have maybe the Nova. Just maybe if we need to wrap more, we can push that in. But that's about that'll be it. Maybe a Nake on the left side of the actor. But we'll, we'll figure out once that came up. Let's do this one and add a dimmer. Okay, perfect. Thank you. These guys like you know probably edit on a better software, but you can get. Let's uh let's push in a little bit, Anna. And you're gonna just have more control on it. So the next chance is so easy for that to happen. 
Yeah. That looks really nice. Like I watched him push it and that made me so happy. I was just like, oh. it's exactly the vibe. And I feel like actually, even if being really shitty out. Yeah, no, I think it's perfect. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Hi, are you using a full grid? Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to play with the reflections a little bit here. A little bit. It's not overwhelming. Greg, do you mind sitting or having yeah, yeah, yeah. Or someone sit? The... Hi, maybe we do a, like, maybe we maybe gaff a little duvetine or something here? Because I see a lot of the bottom, okay. mostly. Yeah, that, that works perfectly. So if we come down a little bit more, maybe I'll lower the shades a tiny bit to compensate. Yeah, OK. Johnson, look at Johnson. Where is it? Well, Brooks, but... I wanted him to have the two-tone colored shirts. That's Nate's fault. I know. That's all we can do. His whole job is to get it down. I think that um, works. Well, you want a lot of wrap? Do hmm? you want to do you want a lot of wrap? A decent amount. Like I don't want to. The goal here but is I'll just move this over. Just slightly over. This way towards us. Okay. That, and then we get a bounce, or we can go with Nova. Mm. But Nova's like two percent. Yeah. We could try that. Yeah. Want to yeah. do the Nova? Sounds good. Okay. I'd rather the Nova for control. Yeah. You can start like one percent. Yeah. So you just are more fill in the Yeah, side. I need a little bit more fill. So yeah. It. It's pretty like I don't see the reflection's not really there. Unless you like physically move it and you yeah. see it flopping, I don't see it at all. Yeah, this looks this looks so good. Johnson, you're fired. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's going so good. <laughs> it's such a great opening. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, I mean even if you don't like it in the edit, just start right there. Right. Like, you could start wherever, but now you have the room, an option. I like, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind it. It gives a little contrast. Yeah, I guess it's the only problem would be just seeing space underneath. That just I don't want to see underneath yeah, at right, all. Right. Yeah. It's like it's right? Yeah. Maybe a little, uh, it's a little long, but. The, the lens is in there? Oh, man. Bro. Sweet. Oh, man. Hi, I'm Nate, and I'll be uh, playing the part of the boss today, trying to get in character a little bit. Damn it, John. Dude, you look good. <laughs> Dude, I was watching you sitting there with the zoom, and it looks perfect. Yeah. Dude, uh, it looks absolutely perfect. So Here, four hours. I think yep. things should come over yep, a tiny exactly. bit. And then if we can try to level it, meaning like uh, uh -huh. just try to straighten it out exactly. in camera yep, you got a little it. bit more. Would it make any Man, difference if, like, yeah. if this came up a tiny bit? Uh -huh. Yeah. Like that. Does that straighten in the desk out a little bit? Does it, it, does. Is it getting there? What? Does Why? it does it help if you sit here? Like if I see you here? Yeah, I don't see why that's a problem. The only thing is, is then I was going to disorient to the thing angle. It's still going it, to because he's looking here, and then there's points where he looks. Right. So we kind of talked about it being in this area. Yeah. It's not necessarily like moving the camera, but we shift the back end a little bit so it's more angled a tiny bit. It, it can give too. you a little bit more room, and it, it might be, because I don't think you like the over the shoulder here. Well, it just doesn't feel natural. I think we just have to adjust this slightly in terms of angle. I don't think it's a huge drastic change. Okay, okay but let's just okay. let's decide what, like, straight on what we need from you. Because right now we need Johnson, you're fired. That's straight on, that's no over the shoulder. Then you're taking it too far. I mean. Uh, well, I, I, after Johnson, it was never supposed to be dead. I'm not right. Like that's what I'm saying. Right. So, so everything else, that's what I'm saying. So like, like I marked it. So if it's three, that means over the shoulder. Boss three. Yeah. Boss three. This we thought could go with it. That's bolder. I actually like that. Oh, that would. That, that's perfect. Or the yellow. I could do everything the same except then just with the well, yeah. yeah. I actually yeah. think everything's fine. I think that's great. It's just it's, that that might be. Or all purple. Right. I don't think purple's the vibe. Yeah, yeah I, agree. I don't think the vibe. I think we should try that. Because yeah. I, I don't mind the blue. It just blended too much with the yeah, bland yeah. background. Yeah, I agree. We can't just make all those straight on shots. They have to, Most of those are going to come from 
a slight angle where I'm, where I'm right. So I think the okay. So then this intro shot is this the only symmetrical that's shot what we have? So what I'm we just to commit to that. Then we move the camera slightly. Then, slightly, then, then we have, have the rest. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the, e the easiest. I think it is the easiest. I think let's, 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 I think let's. I think this symmetrical shot should be just the most prominent point. Like this is the intro shot. Right. Like and then yeah. move. And then you can always move. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely go eat. If you want to go eat too. Yeah. That's that's where we're doing. Let me just. I want to go from this. I think to speaking. I think that'll be very funny. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> so moving on to the next scene, we are in the boss's office where he is about to fire one of the coworkers because he is not wearing a nice T-shirt, and that is the whole comedic aspect to this true classic tease bit. Um, so lighting this scene, we want to make sure that we have a nice kind of like high key feeling, bright but we don't want to make it feel washed out or super flat. We want to make sure there's still some contrast. So what we have set up here is a Nanlite 4 is a 720, which is the most powerful light that we have here. Set to daylight, we have no house lights turned on, so we're not mixing any color temperatures there. We have a book light set up, so the 720 is going into an ultra bounce and then getting shined through a full grid diffusion, all of which are six by. Underneath the book light is a little skirt of Dubatine to make sure that the desk and some of the reflections in the window aren't getting highlighted. So that is just a way to mute some of that. When dealing with reflections, it's hard when the outside isn't brighter than the interior. Unfortunately, we don't have a polarizer to combat some of that. So to minimize reflections, we added this skirt of Dubatine. Black helps minimize reflections regardless. Opposite side of the key light, we added a little bit of fill. We have an aperture nova, again, set to daylight at a very low percentage, maybe five or so percent, just to fill in the face a little bit more. And we didn't opt to do neg here because I wanted to keep the level higher, wanted to keep the, the feeling a little bit brighter, a little bit more energy, essentially. Um, and behind me here, I have a little hair light, which is the falconized little light mat, bicolored. Um, that I'm essentially using as a nice hair light and kind of Hitting the back shoulder, just giving a nice little wrap around the backside. And then to add a little practical and warmth, I have this lamp here and a tungsten bulb on a dimmer. That just adds a nice little color contrast and it's just a nice little added texture. Um, and in terms of the windows, we opted to lower the shades tremendously just to have a little bit of window underneath. Having the shades down helped us be able to light a lot easier and not have to deal with all of the reflections. So. Using the shades to block the reflections was a key move for us to actually light the scene the way that we wanted. And we have the camera set to a Dana Dolly. We are using the Ursa Mini Pro G2 with RE Ultra Primes. We have the 24 millimeter on here. And one last thing I forgot is we have a net here. And what that is doing is just cutting some of the level on the desk and specifically the reflective name tag. Um, other than that, I think that's all we have, and we maybe we have a two by three flag over there, just cutting out some of the uh, some of the lights in the hallway. Other than that, though, that is how we lit this scene. That was pretty good. Yeah, nice, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was good. And my only other comment, last one, would mm -hmm. be the positioning of the screen. Mm -hmm. Would it be maybe yep. a little bit more towards yep. him? Yeah, that's exactly what I was just gonna say. Okay. Other than that, I think it looks okay. amazing. Yeah, yeah it like looks great. That pops a lot. I actually like that more. Yeah, I think I like it. It looks like it makes more sense, but yeah. then it's not like reflecting yeah. all of this yellow. I'm gonna kill wow. the guy right here. Oh, my spanners popped. Oh. They my broke? Spanders. Um, I think it looks great. Yeah, spanders. I'm just gonna kill this mannequin here. Cool. Move the plant back like an inch. Yeah, maybe the, can this be moved back too so there's not mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. of a gap maybe? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like just like that. Uh, Tyler, two. this is our two. <laughs> and our one is here. Go back to your one, Nate. Yeah. That's our one. Yeah. That's what you can do about 15 minutes of work. You sit, around, you sit there and stare at your desk and you pretend. Camera speeds. Scene four, take one. Mark. Action. Johnson, you're fired. Go on, you set? Yeah. Johnson, you're fired. Johnson, you're fired. Yeah. Johnson, you're fired. Use all your voice. Johnson, you're fired. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. open <laughs> eyes, open eyes. That's way better. Johnson, why is your shirt off? Johnson, why are you naked? That's good. Johnson, what does this remind you of? Johnson, you see this cactus? You're fired! <laughs> Sorry, I laughed. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, one more time. Let's do that again. Chopton, you see this cactus? You're fired! <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> so look closely. Very closely. Chopton, look closely. You're fired! I can I can I line here for me. Gibson! You're a goddamn stud. Nice pose. Alright, we're still rolling? Yep. And I'm a skinny guy, but true classic fits my arms and accentuates the biceps nicely. And I'm a skinny guy, but true classic fits tight around my arms and accentuates the biceps. Uh, I think we're good. Now we're gonna we're gonna cut? Yeah, yeah. I just All wanted right. to make sure. Camera cuts. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, hundred percent. Yep. 100%. I mean, we kind of. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. All right, all right, let's move to sticks. So, same, we're shooting the same stuff just on sticks? Similar stuff. We're at, there's a bunch of other stuff as well. But this is, this is an alternate angle to a lot of the stuff we did center. But this is where most of the stuff is going to live. How are we looking? Funny. Move back on my leg. Uh. Can you lean? Cause like you're kind of blocked. Uh. You yeah, you you're, you're like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel yeah. a lot bigger than him. Yeah. Right, but is it funny? Is it yes. Scene five, take one, Mark. True classic is designed to enhance the male physique in all the right places. Right, Jimson? That's right, boss. <laughs> oh my God, you're sitting on my Johnson, Jimson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> True Classic is designed to enhance the male physique in all the right places. Right, Gibson? That's right, boss. See, the thing about True Classic is... See, I have to have some exit. You see, True Classic is designed to enhance the male right, physique in all the right places. Right, that makes me feel like you're okay. addressing the audience more, so let's do that. Right. Sound speed. Camera speeds. Scene five, take four, Mark. Coming a little, Greg? Yeah. Good. Johnson, you're fired. What? Why? It's those baggy, wrinkly shirts of yours. You look terrible. So let's just so let's just start from they just give a bunch it's, of it's those baggy, wrinkly shirts of yours. They look terrible. Oh, it's that baggy, wrinkly shirt of yours. You look terrible. I like the disgusting one. Oh, it's that baggy, wrinkly shirt of yours. You look disgusting. It's your t-shirt, Johnson. It looked terrible. It's your t-shirt, Johnson. It looks awful. How, like, how do you not how do you not know how to get a premium t-shirt? How do you not know how to get a nice premium t-shirt? Too long. How do you know how to not get a nice t-shirt? <laughs> you look terrible. But listen, Johnson, it's not you. It's that baggy, wrinkly shirt of yours. You look disgusting. Do it again. Look at Gibson. He's wearing a true glass of tea. Ha. Huh. He looks so damn good in that shirt, he can basically do whatever the hell he wants around here. Yeah, like when you say damn, you really emphasize <clears throat> it as if it's turning you on a little bit. OK. Look at Gibson. Oh, he looks so damn good in that shirt, he looks... Fuck. And I don't know how I never noticed before, but... You're stunning. Incredible. Gibson, why can't you be more like Johnson? From this angle, we don't really see this. Right, okay, good. So I'm... Oh, but I... So I'm... Well, that's what I'm... I'm, I'm not saying, like, right? You're out I'm saying, like, I'm saying having no desk, like, I'm just like... Yeah. Well, uh, it makes me feel more like he's just gotten up from the desk. So is that good or better? I, or I think, worse? I think, I think it's good. Okay. Right? I mean, I don't mind the picture being like just at the oh, edge there. Just a little bit. Yeah, I don't okay. mind. I think it looks good. Yeah. Actually, I like this framing a lot. I think oh, it's yeah. something. Yeah. Scene six, take one, Mark. That's right, boss. I have strong arms, but also a little bit of a gut. But you wouldn't know because I wear true classic. I have strong arms, but also a little bit of a gut. But you wouldn't know it because I wear true classic. Try it again, more like the yeah. previous one, and less like broken. Apart. What was the previous one? I'm forgetting who the hell. Uh, it was. You're just like you're you're kind of coming with the false confidence. Yeah, like you're, okay, you're right. the douche of the office, but you're dumber yeah. than you were, than yeah, you yeah, think yeah. you are. I don't need to know how to read to know that over 200,000 people gave True Classic five stars. I don't need to know how to read to know that over 200,000 people gave True Classic five stars. I was like, I don't need to know how to read to know that over 200,000 yeah, yeah 200,000 five stars. I don't need to know how to read to know that over 200,000 people gave True Classic a five stars. A five stars? A five stars. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that could work. Yeah, like, that's I'm right. I'm actually going to do it. I don't need to know how to read to know that. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. What should I do, boss? Like, even more like you're loyal, like, like, right, you know. 
What should I do, boss? My oh, boss! Alright, moving on to you now? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Well, do you want to do that or do you want to do the door? I I'd rather, I'd rather get, this is more important. Yeah, 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 yeah. all the shots. Not yeah, that yeah. that's not, but I'd yeah. rather get this done first for and sure. that right, be the last thing. All right, so we're going to flip the world a little yeah. bit. Yeah, let's just do it over the shoulder. The whole time. Yeah. Same thing we did for, for me with everything. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So this comes over here, that is going to come behind, and this is going to wrap a little bit over here. Got it? Thank you, guys. All right, so update, we are now flipping the world to be shooting the worker. We just finished shooting the boss. We got done shooting some of the extra scenes there, so now we're just flipping the world. So the gaffer, key grip, and grip, they're just flipping the world. So the key is gonna be just moved over a little bit more. Everything's gonna be in the general same area, but just uh, geared a little bit more towards the new character. Um, we're a little behind schedule, so we have to make up some time, but we're all doing good, and they're happy with everything, so that's a plus. I'm mentally preparing myself for this reflection right now. Liz, yeah. I think we, what we might have to do is take this entire setup and uh -huh. move it over it's a little bit. Yeah. 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 Is there any chance, Hi, we could back this even more a little yeah, bit? Yeah. And then maybe, I don't know, if, I don't think it can come. It's not bad. The actual, the, the grid isn't bad. It's the hot spot on the ultra bounce that's yeah, really yeah. bad. We can, we can, so let's, can, let's, block, let's flag out. that off. Yeah. We might have to make this more sidey. Yeah. And then wrap something in front. That also, you know, higher up coming down because I cut off his head yeah. here at like the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. So anything above that I won't see. It's possible. It's possible. We are going to accomplish this. So I think what we have to do is take this and wrap it here. Right here. Yeah. Hi, we're doing it. Dang it. We're doing it. Okay, I think that works. We just need to block that whole side. So we just need to tent it. I'm saying the daylight that you see it was cold. Oh no, it matches. It does. Yeah, match. because we're dealing with warmth in the background. It was cooler behind. You. Right, right. Okay. I like these like. Yeah, I mean, I think part of the thing too we talked about is like the type of character he is is a small. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, Say no more. It is small, but it's a little too distant. I, 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 come forward. I feel like if Nate lives, like, scratch your shoulder again, Nate. If he's like that, he doesn't need to be in frame at all. Scene seven, take one, Mark. All right, so Liz, just walk on it when you hear action. Action. Johnson, you're fired. But it's Casual Friday. You say what? Why? And action. Johnson, you're fired. What? Why? What? Why? And action. Johnson, you're fired. What? Why? Action. Johnson, you're fired. What? Why? You're disgusting. But it's casual Friday. This guy can't even read. Jimson can't even. Jimson can't even read. Did you say five stars? Let me try one on. What? What? Five stars. Let me try one on. Johnson, why is your shirt off? Because my t-shirt sucks. One more time. Johnson, why is your shirt off? Because my t-shirt sucks. I want a raise. I want... I was putting, I was imagining putting the camera somewhere around here. That was great. Like this vicinity. What's the problem with us running by? No, I'm just trying to figure, like, I don't know what the, I'm trying to figure out the correlation between the shots. Like, does it need to be one take where you're messing with high and then it goes into this? No, no, no. Or is it, it two goes, separate? No, it goes, it goes ruckus. Yeah. You cut to me going, as if I'm yelling at yeah, him, yeah. and then him popping in the door like this. Yeah, ball. The one, the way, the, the way you took the yes, right? I think it's funnier. Uh, still. You're about to go for a ride. Oh, yeah? yeah. Do you mind getting on my shoulders? I think in the other hand, you should just be like. Fucking with that car. Greg, we got to finish in five minutes. Okay, we got to finish in five minutes. All right, camera speeds. From out of frame, back up a couple steps. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Face the glass, Greg. Face the glass. Uh, 
and try to stay lower. Back like up, high, up. like come down. Yeah. Hey, boss, look, check it out. Boss, check it out. I got. I put a high on my shoulder. Get out. Hey, Gypsy. What's up? Gypsy. Yeah. Hey, boss, check it out. I put high on my shoulders. What's up, boss? <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> That'll work. I mean, that works. That works. What? Even, dude, even that works. I think works. we can wrap it. I mean, it's just like, yeah. as, as a quick thing, well, because if, if it's Tyler, just we can wrap magic. everything. Just play back and then, real you, quick. and then you pop in. Yeah. I want to see it. <laughs> dude, all of this works exactly <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're right. That works. All right. Can I give this to her to dump footage yes, so we yes, can yes. All right. That's all right. Funny. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. Woo! Good job, everybody. Fuck you, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Nice job. Thank you. Question. Dream work makes the dream work. Thanks for your patience, bro. Of course. Yeah, I'm sorry you have run on two hours of sleep, dude. <laughs> Ready? All right. Whew. So that's a wrap. Finished. A little late, but it's all good. Um, everything looked awesome. It was a success in terms of getting everything. Um, Greg and Nate were happy. Yeah, I think it was a successful day. I think everything looked beautiful. Um, tired, ready to go home. Now we just got to pack because we have 15 minutes to pack everything and leave. Yeah, we got to go. So thank you. Thank you, Dan, for the amazing behind the scenes. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it valuable. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. So that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that whole raw behind the scenes video. I know it was a long video. So hopefully you were able to find it beneficial, entertaining, valuable, and were able to take some things away from it. Um, I look forward to doing a bunch more of these style videos. I think this is something that I wanna do more consistently. So let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more of this type of content. Um, I definitely wanna to try to produce stuff like this more often when I can, um, but yeah. I really appreciate it. Also, we hit 20K, baby. It's crazy. If you found this video to be beneficial, valuable to you, hit the like button, comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe, share with a friend. But until next time, have a great day. See you next time.